Hello there, test subjects. Uh, I mean, gamers. Yes, yes, gamers. Welcome back to Is It That Game, your one-stop destination for the best Android and iOS games out there. I'm the illustriously handsome Dr. Professor, and those charges of improper storage of human appendages never landed, so the art museum in my lab should open up pretty soon. You little lab rats made the first video a successful experiment. So much so that we've decided to test a second part. If you haven't seen part one to this video, you can check it out by following this link here so you don't miss out on great free games. In no way, shape, or form is this data being used to program the perfect gaming robot so I can finally beat Dark Souls. Father, what is love? Why do they always keep wanting love? Well, without further distraction, welcome to the 25 free mobile games, part two video experiment. Let's get started, shall we? First up on our list of free games, we have Survive Wilderness. Surviving in the wilderness really isn't that difficult for me, assuming I can bring along my robot army, interdimensional spaceship, and my lab rat, Francisco. But if you want to test your grit without the supplemental technology, Survive Wilderness is a free way to learn to manage a wilderness survival situation. Survive Wilderness is a survival theme simulation where you need to decide how you spend your time and what action is most crucial for you now in order to survive. Building a shelter, finding food, water, traveling, collecting firewood, everything that you need to do to survive outside. I could make a robot do all this for me, but apparently some of you don't have access to robots. <laughs> Peasants. PUBG Mobile. Speaking of clips, pop in a clip and watch your pro gun friend correct you and say, it's a magazine, not a clip. And check out a game I know you've heard of. PUBG Mobile. PUBG was on the forefront of the Battle Royale trend long before Fortnite, Apex Legends, or COD Warzone, and the mobile port features the full game. The biggest recommendation I have for this game is to look into pairing a Bluetooth controller. Having a mobile version of one of the best Battle Royales out there is amazing, but using on-screen controls can block lines of sight on potential enemies. Between 100 player battle royales to their newly implemented 4v4 quick matches, PUBG's massive battle maps are some of the most detailed out there. PUBG is a staple for a reason. It's fun G. Haha, <laughs> whimsy. Dead Rain 2. Tree virus. Tree virus. <laughs> this is preposterously entertaining. A virus that turns you into a tree. <laughs> they told me I was mad for making a human raccoon hybrid. At least mine looked like a little burglar. But have you ever heard of a virus that turns you into a tree? Right? Dead Rain 2, Tree Virus is a 2D action platformer where you play as a survivor in a post-apocalyptic world. The low poly graphics give this game a nostalgic, old school feel while the touch-based controls are actually really well adapted to mobile gaming. Shoot, stab, and obsessively collect every resource possible to upgrade your stuff to your heart's content in this darkly themed shooter. Next up we have Xenowork. Don't feel like popping a cap in some zombies, as the youths might say. Pop a cap in a horde of aliens for free when you download Xenowork. Xenowork is a top-down shooter by Pixel Byte Games, where you and your trusty flashlight will explore the darkness within an underground science lab. With 70 levels and an arsenal that the Doom Slayer would envy, Xenowork is a beautifully rendered symphony of gunfire. My favorite feature is the performance-based rating system. Nothing beats cold hard evidence that you can outshoot your friends. There's always the added bonus of having another Samus-related badass female protagonist to represent the inner anti-alien warrior that's in every girl, or every mad scientist with a degree in world-ending technology. Even if it's not how I would have designed her suit, they do about as good job as MIT does. Pfft. Shadow of Death, 
Darkness RPG. If you prefer something a little more civilized than blasting away, Shadow of Death Darkness RPG is an offline, pocket-sized fantasy RPG. Play as a lone knight with a dark sword that I assume is powered by teenage edgelord angst, slashing your way through decaying farmlands of a forsaken civilization. The combat in this stickman fighting game is fast-paced, with clean controls that allow for precise monster dismemberment. Select from four unique Shadow Knights and learn new skills and don your ever aesthetically improving armor. Do not miss out on this game. Statistically speaking, you can afford it. Pocket Build Is killing not your style? Then you won't like my killbots, but you'll like this game. For the non-violent pacifist, you have Pocket Build. Pocket Build's roots is where this game really shines. It's a game all about the freedom of creation. Nearly everything you'd need to build anything you want is literally at your fingertips from the start. Farm anything, wheat, livestock, corn, humans, the world is your oyster and you no longer have a shellfish allergy. Put cows in pens, put people in pens, create an island of pug overlords, farm your resources, and before you know it, you'll have a quaint, peaceful human farm. Don't you just love misdirection? Does not commute. Want a lead foot instead of distributing lead projectiles? Does not commute is an acceptable driving simulation that looks as good as it plays. This winner of the Apple Design Awards in 2015 is a smash hit. Does not commute is a collision of strategy and path management. The design is simple, but ingeniously fun. Drive from point A to point B. Then drive a new car from point A to point B. But remember to dodge the car you just drove and the car you drove before that with more perspective changes than a prey game. Much like life, this game escalates quickly with the added irony of you being your own worst enemy in a game. Oh, and did I mention it's free? Kingdom Wars Defense. Who likes tower defense? Dr. P likes tower defense, and Dr. P is going to review this game entirely in the third person. Dr. P loves Kingdom Wars Defense. It's a tower defense game with over 400 stages, 200 allies and enemies, and 100 allies with limit break transformation effects. Dr. P is particularly a fan of the PvP aspect, because Dr. P usually finds tower defense games a little on the easy side. Dr. P believes that PvP Edition really saves this game from just being a Cartoon Wars knockoff. Oops, did Dr. P say that out loud? You know what, Dr. P is, is over this whole third person thing. Computer, roll the next clip. Battlelands Royale. Looking for a fun twist on Battle Royale? Battlelands Royale is a top-down shooter with crisp and clean three to five minute matches. The weapons like the Quadzuka and Minigun are a blast, but there's a special feeling when you knock someone down with a plunger that you just can't get with a rocket launcher. Take that from someone who solves many problems with rocket launchers. This game is a great example of pick up and play. The controls are simple and responsive enough for higher level gameplay with a quirky rated PG cartoon style. It's the best family friendly mobile top down battle royale out there for zero dollars. Stranger Things, the game. Not feeling like fighting for loot? Well, how do you feel about fighting a demigorgon? Stranger Things The Game is an absolute delight. Bonus XP Inc. 100% nailed the tone, feeling, and graphics of a game that takes place in 1984. The retro OG Zelda vibes really immerse you in the 80s, with enough collectibles to keep a true completionist busy. Although I still can't find the seventh ego, and I refuse to look it up. The trackable leaderboards with speed runs is a nice touch, and each character feels as unique to play as the characters they're based off of are. Having no ads in the game is one of the biggest wins of all. It reminds me of a time before microtransactions. Walking Dead Road to Survival Speaking of horror TV shows getting a mobile game, we have Walking Dead Road to Survival. Ah, I remember the zombie phase. It was quite fun until that soccer mom infected the whole park. Ugh, 
Good times. In this strategy RPG, fight walkers and humans, and make life or death decisions that shape and change the story. Sometimes you wander upon a survivor and have to make a choice like untying someone and saving them, or leaving them to the walkers. To all my would-be heroes, I warn you to be careful of the humans in this game. Their deception skills are just as dangerous as a zombie bite. Build your stronghold and watch for PvP raids of your resources as The Walking Dead once again shows us the struggle of a zombie-filled world. Zero City Zombie Apocalypse In the mood for zombies, but not in the mood for Rick Grimes crying, Coral! Coral! Zero City Zombie Apocalypse is for you. Build an impregnable shelter, put your people to work, and decide how to set up your defenses for the hordes of zombies. Careful though, some of these zombies have chainsaws, and if they're anything like the chainsaws at Halloween Horror Nights at Universal Studios Hollywood, I want nothing to do with them. The combat is brutal, and losing a teammate can feel just like losing a close family member. Or a really good lab rat. Oh Phineas, you really were meant to squeak in the heavens. <clears throat> Team up with other players or, or dominate them in arena tournaments, but the goal is always the same. Survive. Rodeo Stampede. If you don't want to run from zombies and would rather ride on various animals in an endless runner animal game, Rodeo Stampede Sky Zoo Safari is right up your alley. Sometimes a mobile game doesn't need to draw you in with a deep subtext filled story, but instead encourages you to lessen a T-Rex while riding an ostrich. Dodge and avoid obstacles with a swipe of your finger, lasso your mark, and hold on for dear life to win their hearts. Invite visitors to look over your zoo full of exotic wild animals and mythical beasts and chase down that high score. It's the most fun you can have while riding an ostrich without being banned from the LA Zoo, which I stand by was all just a big misunderstanding, and I'll take it to court. Mad Skills BMX 2 Got the need for speed and the need for free? Get the game Pro BMX Racers Play and download Mad Skills BMX 2. This side scrolling action game has amazing real world physics, making those sick tricks all the sicker. Race against people across the world on tracks that challenge your skills and keep you on the edge of your bike seat. The extremely fast pace reminds you that this is no Mario Kart, and the crashes make it all worthwhile even if my rider will need thousands of dollars in reconstructive surgery. Wholesome detail, weekly new tracks. Nothing is a bigger thank you to your fans than more free maps. Cafe Race Endless Biking Game. Need a bike with an engine to get your mobile dose of adrenaline? Cafe Race Endless Biking Game is a unique low-poly motorcycle driving sim with huge customization. It does a lot right. Good physics, along with an interesting art style and its first-person nature, makes you feel the open road. For added effect, roll the windows down in the car while someone else drives, and avoid the actual danger of weaving in and out of traffic. Plus, it's endless and free, just like the open road. Not that I would know, I don't really get out much. Final Fantasy, Brave Exvius. Square Enix has been in the gaming business for a minute, and it's all because they know how to craft an RPG I'm willing to throw hours into. Final Fantasy Brave Exvius is a brand new adventure RPG in classic Final Fantasy turn-based combat. Join forces with some of the legendary Final Fantasy characters we all know and love and explore perilous dungeons. If you need a little Final Fantasy every day, there's no better way than carrying a little cloud in your pocket. In true Final Fantasy fashion, the victory fanfare always keeps me coming back. Soul Knight Ever wanted to kill aliens dressed up as wizards with a handgun? Yeah, that's pretty much my Tuesday night schedule. Anyway, Soul Knight has just that, as you shoot your way through a time of gun and sword. If you want 170 plus weapons in your arsenal, with stylish and retro music pumping from your headphones as you barely dodge a wall of enemy lasers, Soul Knight is for you. And Soul Knight is for free. The game has been around for three years and still has community events, new items, and developer support. So chug a strength potion and jump into a game that has a little soul to it. Opus Rocket of Whispers 
Now, if you want a game whose soundtrack will give you chills, you need to try Opus, Rocker of Whispers. The name says it all. An Opus is a large-scale artistic piece with multiple composers. This 2D adventure game is the sequel to Opus, The Day We Found Earth, following the story of a witch and the son of a rocket engineer. Your goal is to launch a space burial with the spirits of victims of a great plague that wiped out most of humanity. The dialogue is beautifully written, the characters are compelling and relatable, and I cannot get over this soundtrack. Father and Son If Opus gave you some father and son feels, you know what other game will give you those same feels? Father and Son by Tuo Musio. This game looks as beautiful as the story it tells, and it really is a great example of an experimental take on digital narrative. The father-son relationship is charming and sneaks in a history lesson on areas like ancient Egypt, Pompeii, and <laughs> I mean Naples. It's free, it's educational, and it's beautifully written. You follow a son's quest to find his father through art pieces, and the art direction in this game really lets it shine. I don't have a good joke for this game because it really is a work of art, just like my butt. Critical Ops. Critical Ops is a multiplayer first-person shooter that boasts no in-app purchases that give competitive advantages and guarantees a fair-to-play level playing field. I can't help but praise a game that's outcome relies on skill and strategy rather than the depth of your wallet. Fight as the coalition or the breach in a fast-paced, skill-based shooter. Competitive and ranked games make sure you fight in your weight class, so there's no little noob stomping toxicity. Unfortunately though, there's no protection for when I panic and my bullet grouping becomes spaghetti. Spotlight X Room Escape Want a free game that has graphics that will blow you away? Spotlight X Room Escape is equal parts beauty and equal parts frustrating, but it's frustrating on purpose. This game feels like a real escape room. The challenge comes from a mixture of pushing your brain mentally and testing your ability to effectively use your time. It's tense, it's hard, and it's oh so very satisfying when you finally escape. The smart will prevail, and no, there is no option to kick the door down to escape. And yes, that's why I'm no longer allowed in the escape hotel in Hollywood. They told me to escape. Technically I did, I don't see what the problem is. Ramboat 2. When the Wi-Fi is out and you're waiting on your ISP to send someone out between 7 a.m. and next Friday, you still deserve a good time. Rambo 2 is an offline arcade style shooter. The flexibility of not needing an internet connection makes this free to play game more versatile than some of the other games we've already reviewed. Shoot your way through a fast paced 2D side scroller that will require your eyes to be glued to the screen and your finger to stay on the trigger. The controls are optimized for mobile play, making it easy to pick up and frustration free. Oh, and it's also free. Frontline Guard. But if you're feeling a World War II first person shooter and you don't have the time to set up your PS3 to play Call of Duty World at War, you can whip out your phone and keep your wallet in your pocket with Frontline Guard, a World War II shooter that's as satisfying as the ping from an enemy mag through an M1 rifle. Build a custom kit to tank your way through gunfire, or silently snipe from the distance. The game feels great playing on screen, and all the better with a Bluetooth controller. Fight online against people from around the world and get a taste of fast-paced World War II combat. Skyforce Reloaded A good arcade game is hard, rewarding, and flashy, and no three other adjectives describe Skyforce Reloaded. Take the gameplay from classic arcade shooters like 1943 and update with drop dead gorgeous rendering, superb sound design, and a progression system that has you say, okay, just one more level for the fifth time tonight. It leaves you wanting more in the best of ways possible. It's free and it will be your new favorite arcade shooter. If you doubt me, give it a shot and I'll talk to you once you beat the Scarlet Heart boss on stage 11. I still have nightmares. And finally, the silent rage. Do you love the complexity of time travel? Make like Eminem and lose yourself in the world of the silent age. This point and click style game focuses on a janitor in a character and story driven narrative with superbly well acted voice acting. 
Use your time machine to jump between the future and present, and rip the fabric of reality by taking items from the future into the past, or vice versa. I am a huge fan of innovative gameplay, and that's exactly what the Silent Age delivers. Prevent the end of the world and save humanity. You know, like all janitors do. All jokes aside, you should probably tip janitors from now on. They're pretty great. In case you are wondering the price of all these games, in case you missed it, they're all free. So when you're strapped for cash but have time on your hands, you can check out any of these mobile games, which will give you the most bang for your buck. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe if you aren't already, so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And let me just say, my god, the lab rats have broken into the armory again. Come on, guys. We've gone over this. The current cheese ration is not up for debate. Well, I have an insurrection to deal with. This is Dr. Professor reminding you to question everything.